Why, hello everyone. My name is Josh from Drastic. Sorry you can see into my hallway. Let me go fix that real quick. Oh, yeah. I have a desk. By the way, I have a desk now. You see this? This thing? I have a desk. It's great because previously this was my desk. This thing was my desk. Now I have a desk. So, you know. Kind of, I'm kind of much happier, you know. Now that I actually own a desk. Thanks to you guys, you know. Thank you all who have supported me. I own a desk now, so... Close the bathroom door. Ah! Close. Stay close. All right. Today, we're going to be watching someone named Josh. I know. It's crazy. We're going to watch someone named Josh. But before we get into that, roll the intro. Sorry about the fan noise. I should probably go turn that off as well. Hello, Tete. My dog's down here beside me. I'm getting really distracted. I wasn't ready to record, but I saw this guy's video, and I thought it sounded, or I thought, like, it was pretty funny because he's kind of like, uh, he's kind of like Greystow Plays. You know? I don't know. You'll see him in a second. I mean, you can see him right now on the screen. Uh, what's his name, actually? Let's see real quick. Let's get... Let's game it out. Let's game it out. I listened to like the first five minutes of it, so... Or first... Hey there, it's Josh. Welcome back to seconds. Let's Game It Out. See, We're checking he's out Sam Josh. Airport today, me. where it's our job to it's make me, and manage guys. all the inner workings I of an airport. This. So pack your bags, leave your tray tables down on takeoff and landing, and let's create some my mile high mayhem. Obviously, we're gonna go with sandbox. Map size, nah, the biggest. Start from scratch. God, yes. God and we're ready yes. to go. Okay, so here's our big, giant, empty lot. The game was kind enough to give us some starting zones, like garbage drop-off, garbage people drop-off, garbage <laughs> people pickups, as well as delivery and storage. What the hell? What is this? Is this a person? Are you alive? Oh god, they moved. Okay, I figured Oh god, out. they Down moved. here, this is our staff button, of which the game starts us with two lovely construction people. Meanwhile, down below, the game is trying to get our attention to let me know that there's a couple of things we need to open. Among other things, we need a functional aircraft gate and a functional... I don't know if my microphone's plugged in. I'm pretty security sure it is. and baggage claim. Okay, let's see where this gets us. We're gonna build a beautiful 5x5 five five room, which doesn't look like much now. Look at this. But before long, this truck is gonna show up narrowly hit one of our people before dropping off the necessary supplies over in deliveries. Then they take those boxes, go right on over to the construction site and make us a building. I mean, eventually, dear God, this is taking forever. Do you guys want some help? You I feel like you wouldn't it. be too mad if I hired a couple additional workers, right? What do you think? Do you Someone think, like, commented, you adult can get the work website. Only on one way to find out. Ah, here comes the I hate when people, people do <laughs> commercial content. Oh my, on my God, channel. there they are. In the oh, yes. See, that's much Nobody's better. Nobody's going to click on your stuff. Split. Stop putting oh my it God. in my and channel. And then when they're done, they just go back to their home over here. That's so weird. They're barely moving. Okay, well, now I have to know. Is there a limit to how many people I can hire? Do you think it'll really let me hire a thousand people? <laughs> yes, yes the it is. Section. And they just keep flowing sure out of that, that buzz. It's like stupid the employee bus like sprung a leak and they're just pouring out now. Oh god, it feels like a living entity now, doesn't it? Everything's just kind of moving. Well, it'd be illogical to stop at a thousand now. Let's see how the game appreciates ten thousand. So yeah, far see, so good, but like it's only twelve forty PM. Whoa, what's happening here? Oh, I see we have a second shipment. Also, look at this poor bus sandwiched in the middle. It's been forty minutes in game now and these buses are still unloading. Oh my god, a third bus showed up. <laughs> 
<laughs> They've been unloading for an hour now. Oh, they're finally done. What a relief. The buses can finally leave. Okay, well, there you go. Our construction workers ready to work. Okay, I know it's excessive, but now we need to go for broke. And that's not to hire just 100,000 people. Let's go for a million. Hiring those additional 990,000 workers is only going to cost a mere 1.9 billion. <laughs> Come on and join the workforce. Oh boy, here comes the first of what I'm sure is going to be many buses. Mark the time, everybody. It's 3.10 p.m. in game. Next bus has arrived and no one seems to be coming out of this one. Wait a minute. People are still coming out of these buses. We just can't see them. Well, let's just wait this out and see what happens. Oh my God, what is going on? I think everyone's starting to merge with everyone else. I don't know what else to call this. I do want to point out more phantom people are still coming. Three hours later, we're at the point now where buses are just backed all the way up to the edge of the map. <laughs> I can also hover over these people and eventually it'll show me that in that little space, there's 2,700 people right there. What? The game crashed? Okay, let's split the difference. Go with a modest 25,000 people. That seems like a more manageable amount, right? <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Wait, what's happening? Are you guys okay? Are you coming down with a virus? What is this? Hang on, let's put some of these people to work just so we can see what happens. Oh my god, what is this nightmare that's unfolding? This is oh. absolutely terrifying. Oh, and when they're done with construction, they just kind of contract back into that space. Well, just for fun, let's see how long it takes them to do this. It's weird. It's almost like trying to drive 25,000 people around the map. It's having some issues. I feel like I died and went to art <laughs> hell. We've got this bizarre experimental stuff. Style, playing out at a beautiful 0. 0.0001 frames per second, all overshadowed by the dulcet tones of never-ending jackhammers. Of never-ending jackhammers. You know, I don't think this is ever going to end, <laughs> but I will say this. Still more pleasant than a normal airport. God, I'm trying to get to the main menu and the jackhammer sound is just getting sad. Okay, back to sanity. I know it's going to be hard, but we're going to stick with just our trusty 10,000. All I really want is for them to maintain their human form. So good job at that so far. <laughs> anyway, back to my airport. Here's our lovely tiny little space. As a reminder, we need some ticketing, security, and baggage claim. Ticketing, we're going to make this one tiny spot right there. Baggage claim is going to be this tiny spot right here. And the game's already yelling at me. Oh, it's because it's isolated and unreachable. Don't worry, we'll get there. And security, we're going to have take up all of this space. Oh, wow, we failed all kinds of stuff. Metal detector, bag scanner, ID check stand. Oh, boy, this is going to be a tight fit, isn't it? Okay, let's make it slightly bigger. Hey, construction crews, can I have your... Oh. Okay, thanks. They did it so fast, the shadow of the building is still there. Okay, so let's make it a little bit bigger. 14 by 14, let's say. And we'll put ticketing right here. Baggage claim is going to be one tiny square in the corner. Garbage goes away. And now garbage lives right here. Let's make sure to put a nice big door on the front. You know what? Let's move you guys inside. Let's make deliveries this little square in the middle here. <laughs> oh, God, here they come. Oh, why is this oh. so organic and oh, weird like that? You know, weird. this right here is scarier than any horror game. Okay, and we'll put security right here. So ID check stand we're gonna put right here up against the workers. The metal detector. Can we take this thing and like face it into the Oh yeah. So you have to walk into these people to use it. And our bag scanner, which we'll go ahead and put right there. That organization doesn't even make sense. I like it. Now back over here to ticketing. Let's go ahead and put down a ticketing desk. Even though we've got the space for more than one. What's the hurry? You all like waiting in line, don't you? And we've also got a staff up. Thankfully the game tells me exactly what I need. Three security guards, one single staff member. I just love the disparity here. One staff member, $20 an hour. Three security guards, $120 an hour. 10,000 workmen, $250,000 an hour. But at least everyone comes to work happy and faceless. So once people are done at security, where they have to walk into construction workers while their bags go into a wall, we'll go ahead and put a door right here. It's gonna take you to our beautiful gate. How do I build the gate anyway? Gate. Oh, there it is. We'll start with a small one, which we'll go ahead and put right... Yeah, right there looks good. Let's see, what do we need to build this out? Requires a gate agent desk. Okay, we'll take that and we're gonna put it right over here. Facing against the wall. There we go. Our faceless employee is now working diligently with her back to the door. And lastly, we need to add the runway. I like how as the runway gets longer, it shows all the planes that can partake now. Finally, the B-73W in my airport. Okay, looks good. Let's see what else it needs. Requires at least one taxiway connected on both ends. Can I just take the taxiway and just put like one little square on each end? Will it consider that a done deal? As a matter of fact, yes. That was enough for it. In the eyes of the game, this is a fully functional runway. Okay, we're getting closer. I can feel it. What does this thing need now? Two adjacent taxiways and a taxiway path to at least one runway. We'll just have this runway kind of 
uh, take the scenic route before heading on over to the runway. These workers, by the way, have got to be just the fittest people of all time. Just look at all the running they do. Okay, there we go. No more <laughs> alert arrows. Our very complete looking airport is ready for prime time. Next thing we got to do is line up some flights. Over here, we need to make deals with all these airlines to take their available flights and schedule them down below. Strangely, I'm only seeing morning and afternoon flights. Apparently, to get the rest, we need to upgrade our runway to have safety lights or whatever. Well, you don't have to tell me twice. Give me those lights. <laughs> Wait a minute. Are they sending just one person to work on this? Well, all right. Looks like they've got it under control. Okay, much better. Look at all those flights we can schedule. And we're going to schedule as many of these as we can. I like how there's all this stuff up here, like how happy the airline is with us. And as you can see, they have absolutely no trust in us. Don't worry, airlines. You'll come to trust me. You're about to accept every flight from this airline. I sure am. Jeez, that one plane I is sure two hours. Am. Can I shorten that a little bit? Okay, I guess 90 minutes is the best we get. So long as we're packing in these flights. Oh my god, look at this one. Look how many they have. I'll take them all. <laughs> look at all those amazing flights I still need to schedule. There's so many they just burst off the page. Okay, here we go. Our modest little gate has a completely full schedule. Well, look, here come our first people right now. Now everybody wait your turn in line or... <laughs> what the hell are you doing? Wait for this invincible woman, then it's your turn. Okay, here she goes over to check her ID and then straight through into the metal detector into the group of people. Ah, what a streamlined process this is. <laughs> and then she gets over here and is like, uh, can I sit down or something? And of course the answer is no. Be like that guy. Stare directly at the wall. I mean, honestly, does this feel that different than a normal airport experience? <laughs> also, good God, these people are here for their 1.30 a.m. flight at 11.15. I mean, it is my airport, so I guess that's actually just good planning. Well, look who's here. If it isn't flight 195, here for its 12 a.m. scheduled arrival. That's right, take your sweet time. The later, the better. Come on, big guy, here you go. And there it is. Ah, and here comes all the lovely people, together as one, fleeing the aircraft. Okay, buddy, I know you're excited to do baggage claim, but maybe get off the... <laughs> whoa, whoa, what? Are these people one with their vehicles now? Oh, and now they're pooping baggage. I get it. All in that one tiny corner where I told them to put them. And what the hell is happening up here? Calm down, everybody, or this guy's gonna run you over. Why are you taking this route? Why are you insisting on running everybody over? Not that I mind. Okay, meanwhile, everyone's finally getting on the aircraft. And with everyone on board, the plane heads off to... Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! That is one buoyant aircraft. He's like, I need to get out of here and never come back. Uh, I don't feel like they're going fast enough. What is happening here? Wait, 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 whoa, 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 what? <laughs> what? What was that technique? Wow, did they teach you that in flight school? You know, I don't even know how to feel about that. Okay, you know what? I don't like that that flight arrived on time and left on time. So we're gonna dismantle this taxiway, build something with a little more pizzazz. I mean, I assume the game will let me do this, right? Oh, and look, we got a plane already going through it. Can you imagine being on this plane, having to endure every single one of these turns over and over again for the rest of your days? You know, it turns out it doesn't matter how late they are. People still get on the plane. You would also think that some of these pilots, especially with their advanced piloting techniques, would be going down this and be like, eh, this is essentially the runway. I'll just take off from this. But no, instead they spend a half hour zigzagging in plane purgatory. So here's all the things that the plane is supposed to do when it arrives. Deplane, unload baggage, load baggage, get the new flight crew on, and then board people. But I discovered a fun new option, forced departure. So let's see what happens when we do this. Okay, so the plane taxis into the gate as normal, does indeed let all the people disembark, and that's a Apparently all it does. All these people over here are like, uh, excuse me? And over here they're like, uh, this is your captain speaking. So long, suckers. Oh yeah, there it goes. <laughs> Zero percent boarded. Well, now I'm just gonna do this for every plane. I told this plane Why? to just take off at this point in the arrival process. And then once it finally arrives, it's like, everybody off. Okay, bye. And then it heads off to the runway for a smooth standard takeoff. <laughs> this is how I imagine it sounding on the inside. <laughs> Okay, Nobody's so as funny inside, as this though. whole process is, to watch people never, ever be able to get on their flight, I can't help but wonder if there's a way we can get more people to miss their flights more often. While this whole process <laughs> is going on, other planes actually can't land on the runway. One plane takes off, and the moment it's clear, another plane lands. So how do we get two planes up in this? What if we add some additional little taxiways, like right here and right there? Just a couple little dodging points. Yes, that's the spirit. Be fearless. No way can that airplane liquefy <laughs> you in seconds. Oh my god, it's happening. 
Another plane has landed at the same time. How are they gonna navigate this situation? Oh, they just wait politely. What beautiful plane ballet that was. But still, because we have the one gate and only so many flights, I think we're still gonna see a lot of empty runway. So let's add another gate. There we go. A horrible little concrete hallway that takes you to the gate. Oh wait, I need room for one of these desks. <laughs> or do I? I look how the construction person just walks up like, hey, it's not my job to care. You want it, I build it. That's the spirit. Smash between your desk and a wall forever. Well, no sense in giving you all this space. Now that I know we can have these desks in the most uncomfortable places. Okay, great. Now we've got two gates with full schedules. So this is getting slightly more busy, but not by much. I think what we need are more gates and not just these small ones either. Let's jump straight to the XL gate. So we'll put one there and here and here. And there. Finally, my crews have something to do. Now, these ones are a little bit different. They require a door to a terminal on the second floor. Second floor, huh? Hope you people like stairs. Okay, there you go. What does our second floor look like anyway? <laughs> oh, perfect. That's what I like to see. Can I extend this without building on the first floor? Damn it. Requires foundation on the floor below. So be it. I'm happy to put my claustrophobic little corridors on the floor below. And now we'll just build them up here. Okay, great. And I want to believe because this is all in one big hallway that we can just just mash all five desks in a row here. Scheduling wise, I tried to take all available flights and kind of clump them together. Let's see how it goes. Well, that's strangely pretty, isn't it? Probably a little stressful for the pilots, but that sounds like a them problem and... <laughs> Oh no, it's happening again. Oh God. Okay, let's see. I think we can logically work this out. If we head down here, we can see in our pickup area, there appears to be some people waiting for pickup. Not just people, by the way. Some very frustrated people that really need to use the bathroom. But it looks like when a bus arrives, 75 people at a time can get on board. I'm thinking all the people that are walking over to get picked up is far exceeding that number. And so this weird kaleidoscope of people is just growing all the time. It's almost like there are some kinks in my chain of operation. So I surmise if we lower the population, then the horror show should be contained. It turns out we have a button down here for research, which has a bunch of things we can unlock. I bet there's something in here that can help us out. Oh, and I found it. Upgraded buses. Buses become double deckers for double the capacity. Well, shiver me timbers, let's do it. But we can't shiver build it yet timbers. because apparently first we need to hire a COO and give them an office. Okay, the first step to making an office, we gotta find a place to put it. I'm thinking right here. Okay. Oh God, what now? Requires enclosed space, office chair, office desk. Damn it. We can't put walls out here. It's too close to the taxiway. Okay, let's see if we can find somewhere else. Oh, I have an idea. How about right here in this isolated little hallway? We'll just slap a door right here. Put down a nice office chair. Have it face the wall. And surely we can get this desk to fit. Yep, there we go. And there it is. The perfect office. This guy riding by is like, hell of an office, sir. Almost better than my car legs. Uh, speaking of, what the hell is happening here? Is this how they get these things up and down the stairs. They just like Tony Hawk it right up the <laughs> stairs. Is that what's happening? I mean, I get it. You gotta get to that gate somehow, right? Okay, where was I? Oh, right. Hiring a COO. I'm glad they all look like evil bankers. The new administrators traveling to work. They're probably so excited to have a new office to work in. You know, I've been quietly waiting for the COO to show up so I could give them like a proper greeting, but I haven't seen him and this view isn't helping me at all. All I've got is has office. Yes. Good enough for me. Let's upgrade some buses. And while we wait for the research to complete, I hate to say it, my lovely construction crew, but we're gonna have to let some of you go. Just for now, we're gonna cut back down to 5,000. I like how in any other real situation, laying off 5,000 people would be like catastrophic. But over here, my fired employees have managed to turn it into interpretive dance. There we go, 150 capacity. I just have to pray that over time, these buses can pick up everybody. While that's going on, I saw one more thing I think we can really use. Land expansion allows the purchase of additional map parcels. Judging by how our airport currently is using the entire place, space. I think that's a great idea. Oh yeah, that's the good stuff. Oh wow, it opens up this whole thing. Yes, please. Oh, it's so powerful it has to reload the game. <gasps> and look, the people are cured. The waking nightmare is over. For now. I also noticed the COO is finally in her office. And of course, she's totally despondent. I get it though. I'd be shocked too if my office were this nice. Okay, so before we go land buying crazy, I want to make sure we've got our runway situation squared away. I think this extra land is going to be mostly useful for more gates. But for that 
to be handy, we need to finish filling the schedule. And to fill the schedule, we need more flight contracts. And to get more flight contracts, we need all of these airlines to like us a little bit more than they do. Like Sparkjet, 36% rating? Why don't you love us? Well, a lot of this is looking pretty abysmal. 36% trust. Communication, 35%. So I think we can make a lot of this better by giving them a rep. To do so, we have to buy sales reps. I mean, hire them. <laughs> ah, and here they all are, just hanging out in the drop-offs area, as all high-powered business people do. Well, let's get you all assigned. You lucky airline, you get sales rep number 129530. <laughs> Remember the name. And just like that, our ratings have improved. Oh, yeah, look at all these flights available to us now. Give me all these. Some of these ratings are still pretty low, though. So I think I'm going to try and work on that passenger satisfaction. I'm pretty sure we've got room to grow there. What with all these people waiting and my one tile-wide baggage claim. Thanks for dropping off those bags, Car Centaur. So according to the game, passenger satisfaction is connected to how miserable your customers are. As you can see, if you mouse over pretty much anybody, on the better end, they're only 100% frustrated. Now on the higher end, we can see things getting steadily worse. Okay, actually, you know what? Before we try to make this better, I want to see if we can make it worse. Is it possible to get all these meters to 100% bad? Well, we're never going to find out if people keep leaving. So just for now, we're going to put a wall in front of the entrance. And all of you that weren't smart enough to flee at the last minute, you're the test bed. You know, I couldn't help but notice that everyone's just congregating to security now. Like literally every passenger stuck in the airport. But unlike these pillars of calmness, these people won't stop moving. Wait a minute. Are you telling me they'll just go wherever the security boundaries are? Well, got to test this. So if we put a second security box over here, it doesn't look like anyone moves. But if I erase this first one, oh my God, I can tell them what to do. Are you kidding me? Oh my God, we have to test this further. Well, there's a door right here. Does that mean that if I go all the way over here, can I make him go to like the middle of the airport? Hey everybody, let's move. Huh. Well, some people are going up to the door, but it looks like most of them are just creepily spreading out. This looks so weird. It's like a coat closet trying to find its way up the stairs. Also, I like how they kind of bounce when they get up to the top of the stairs. They do like a jaunty little jump and then they skip away. Okay, anyway, let's see if we can figure out how to get them to go outside. Here, what if I just carve a hole for you? No. What's it gonna take, huh? Maybe this is too far away. Maybe they need it a little closer to home. Let's try this. Really? Still nothing? What if I build like a little room out here? Oh, yep, there we go. Most people are coming. Okay, now let's close everybody in. This lady's like, aw, I wanted to be trapped with thousands of people. And now let's remove the security zone. Now let's get rid of this whole thing. Ah, oh, yeah, there we go. Be free, my friends. Oh God, where exactly are they going? Wait a minute, what do you people know that I don't know? Oh, you little cheaters. You found a way back inside. Okay, let me <laughs> gather you all up again. Everybody back to where it started. Oh, you this little time around, cheaters. we're gonna be smarter. Get rid of these back, doors. Okay, back that's inside. better. To my knowledge, there's no way back in here. The front door is locked. All the rest of these gates are on the second floor where they can't reach them. And they can't get out to the street because there's a fence going the entire length of the airport. Okay, let's try this again. I have a new idea that I think is going to work out. We're going to try this thing again, but this time we're going to turn it into a room. Unfortunately, at the moment, we can't put any buildings down here because they're too close to the taxiway. So temporarily, we're just going to dig this up. Okay, better. And now we can put a room around this. Moment of truth. Let's see if this works. Sink or swim. Have fun. Oh my god. <laughs> I think it's working. I like how most people are polite about staying off the runway, but not everyone. Look, I don't want to tell but you how to live, but that's probably not the best place to contemplate life. Yep, looks like it worked. Most of the people are filtering into this tiny little room. And now that I managed to sucker these people into being in the middle of an airport, let's go ahead and literally get rid of their security blanket. Oh, yes, there they go. Expand my pretties. Oh, good. The game just lets me put the taxiway back. It doesn't care that there's people in the way. This is just amazing. These people don't have a care in the world. Well, now that they're out there and wandering around, can I just reopen the airport like it's business as usual? I think the answer is yes. Oh my god, and planes are landing again. Oh god, how is this gonna go? <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, everything about this is fantastic. This airplane's like... And if you look to the right side of the aircraft, you're going to see a whole bunch of fresh corpses. <laughs> oh, I bet these bigger jets just can't even see them. Either way, this is definitely more my kind of airport. How many people do you think we can get out here? Much, much later. Turns out a lot. Like a whole <laughs> hell of a lot. It's hard to calculate for sure, but I think there's about 10,000 people on this runway now. In between the people and the airplanes, just no one cares about anything anymore. As you can see, we also streamlined the runway a little bit. I wanted to make sure there was plenty of open thoroughfares so all these planes could fulfill their bloodlust. And it really feels like we're maintaining that circle of life. As mentioned, we were trying to make a more people-friendly airport. So let's give you the grand tour of our new terminal. Starting outside, everything's pretty much the same. People get off buses.
buses to head into the airport while all these business people just stand around. And over here in the terminal, we've kind of revamped a few things. Baggage claim is now in the dead center of the room. I like to call <laughs> this bag roulette because there's no way you're going to find your bag. So just take anything you want. We also just expanded and now there's more than one <laughs> ticket counter. With such a huge influx of people, I wanted to make sure that everyone could be squared away. Speaking of people and being squared away, these are windows back here, which behind them holds a little surprise. A whole bunch of people trapped and on display. Seeing as how you can see them from the drop-off area, you would think this would serve as a warning sign. But hey, when you're late for your flight, nothing's gonna stop you. Something perplexing to me is if you highlight any of these people, we've succeeded in making them very unhappy, except they're really not frustrated, and they're not thirsty. That raises all kinds of questions that I'm just gonna leave to your imagination. I also went ahead and created some oh. restrooms this time. Oh, it's really no. the perfect restroom. One toilet, no barriers, and hundreds of people actively watching you. Now, I realize these things look like soap dispensers or something, but they're actually PA speakers, the only ones in my entire airport. So that way when people are in there doing their business, I can just pop on and be like, Everybody saw it, dude. <laughs> Wait, is this just something that happens? Considering their faces are like completely white, it almost feels like when they're done peeing, they just take off their pants to reveal their beautifully tanned legs. I also redid security to handle more people. It's every bit as messy as it was before. Oh yeah, I'm sure these agents are real comfortable. What with people literally shoving into them while they try and work. And once you're through this nightmare, there's only one thing left between you and the gate. Moving walkways. A lot of moving walkways. Pretty much you need to start by going all the way up to the top of my airport, where you're gonna hop on board for a ride you're not allowed to get off ever. Each one of these things takes 20 minutes to get through, and there are six total that you need to go through, because they're literally equal in length to the runway. And once you're done riding for two whole hours, it's time to head upstairs, where it should come as no surprise that your plane left without you a really, really long time ago. That's okay, though. The journey back isn't that bad. Just gotta wait in line to go up to the third floor. Just follow where everyone else is going, and you'll be fine. After all, you're all in this together. Oh and by this, of course, God. I mean a maze. I love that even the employees have to go through it too. And once you're done with this nonsense, which takes about two and a half hours to get through, then you just need to wait in line for about 20 minutes, and then you're finally free to leave the airport, presumably an empty husk of the person you used to be. Wait, no, I take it back. I think you're irreversibly changed forever. I hope you're ready to enjoy life now as an isosceles triangle. As an isosceles triangle. a rare phenomenon called reality unfolding. I think I've seen enough. I'm gonna never land this plane again. Well, I think that's about as much damage as we're gonna do. I hope you had fun. I know I did. I give this game one out of one realities being torn asunder, and I'll see you next time. That was great. That was great. Oh my god, that was amazing. Oh my god, you guys should definitely go check him out. That was great. <laughs> it was like Grey Still Plays. It was. It was exactly like Grey Still Plays, and I enjoyed it. I enjoyed every bit of it. Anyways, guys, as always, stay strong, everyone. Stay safe. Wear your seatbelt, wear your helmet, wear your mask. Don't put the flash up behind you. Don't get a haunted mirrors. And as always, have a nice day. Have a nice day. Have a nice day, mate.